just thought I would do a quick little haul video. David and I had some fun picking yesterday out of town, had a great time, found lots of lovelies, and I've got little dogs down here that want to help. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, they're super excited to be where Mama is while Mama's shooting a video, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you guys. This is going to be a really short video, but I wanted to show you what all we found. So these are all the pickings between David and myself. Oh gosh, we had so much fun. So we ended up going to Florence, which is the antique capital of Colorado. And we had a really good time. We found lots of neat stuff, beautiful cool ephemera um, that we'll definitely be bringing to some future sales. So these U.S. camera magazines are so spectacular. They were for military photographers. And of course, David is a photographer. So he found these pretty fascinating. So he snagged three of these to bring you guys in the future. And they are simply fantastic. One of them had Lucille Ball, there she is, so neat. So and then we've got some colliers also that David found. Look at these, some fun wartime toys to go with the US uh, photo mags. And uh, let's see here, look at the cover, how precious the ice, ice skaters and cross country skiers with the bunnies. February 23rd, 1946. We're showing some lag in the snow. So, really cool. So excited about finding fun ephemera. And then, uh, I don't find anthropomorphic linens that often, but when I do, oh my goodness, are these the cutest you've ever seen or what? Look at that pineapple. She is rocking with some berries. The nanners are there. We got peaches and apples and pears, grapes and a grapefruit. And I think that may be cantaloupe. I'm not for sure. But um, yeah, I got a whole set of these, so I'm pretty obsessed. The anthropomorphic fruit lover in me would really like to keep them, but I'm probably going to bring them to a sale just because that's the right thing to do. I cannot keep it all. All right, so these, oh, these are 1939 Halloween masks. Look at this. Disney 1939 Halloween mask with Gillette razor blades um, for the ads on the back. So we've got Cleo, we have Geppetto, and then we also have Pinocchio. How flippin' cute. I couldn't resist. I had to snag these and they were on sale, so I was like, ugh. We've got all kinds of little fun recipe books underneath here and some tin toys. Got some iridescent glasses. I'll hold the bag. I'm just gonna let you kind of peruse the funsies. Love that, it's a camel with a little umbrella. Got some black glass, another umbrella bowl. I love those. Some vintage Halloween, new old stock napkins. E.T. tumblers, all four. There's one of each. So those are from Pizza Hut in the 80s. They are amazing. Oh my gosh, just so much stuff. Look at this Fenton Kitty. She is so pretty in red and white. We've got a Joseph Original Santa. Some more Italian wooden little guys. Some meditating little shakers. I love them. German pottery. Iridescent mugs. And this is one of my favorite things. David found this. It is a talking telephone. <laughs> from cam caps it's a switchboard and when you turn this it talks it says these phrases and right now it's having a moment but um, yeah you turn the crank and it talks and then you can like move the little switchboards around like i'm just kind of blown away it's one of the coolest toys ever maybe keeping that i honestly don't know sorry yeah, it's really dusty, needs good cleaning, but how cute. Got some mid-century servers. I love these. Super cool. Some left and kitties on a basket, and guess what? There's two. One there, one there. 
some uranium glass. That thing glows like crazy. I'm not sure where I set my black light, but that glows. Playtime Poodles. That's the storybooks that I was talking about the other day during a sale with Perseverance Wins. I had the one with the kitties. And this is the one with the poodles, and these are actual photographs of poodles with clothes on. And I really hope that they treated these poodles humanely. We're gonna think that they did, but you know, it's the 40s. So, look at him, he's on a snail. What is even happening? I can't take it, that is just the cutest. I'm gonna try to clean that yuck yuck off the front. So, we found some more vintage Halloween. David got in the case for these. And they will be coming. Dave and I are going to do another Halloween sale, probably after Christmas in July. And we will be bringing you some really fun, fun stuff. So we have Mary Poppins, a figurine with her original umbrella. And then we have this little telephone girl with her red shoes and a red phone. Little buggies. Another one of those little left and kitty uh, on the basket trinket dishes. Little left and pixie cutest biscuit this lovely decanter with the silver gilding super pretty david found this awesome seltzer bottle with the mesh love that um this is a little russian onion head roly poly i may be keeping this i'm not gonna lie this makes my heart happy it is weird and i love it it's anthropomorphic and it's mid-century russian toy and I just I love him he's a bizarre little fellow all right so this I've been looking for in search of for my own collection it's a stereo camera it does have its case original case so when you have those stereo images for your stereo uh, graphic viewer this is the camera that takes those photos oh. and yeah so this is in my collection now for a while yeah um, and it's just a beaut got a great deal on it found a really pretty feed sack quilt. It is so sweet. It's got like green flannel on the other side and it's really lightweight and soft and it was in good condition. You know, sometimes they're just beat stuffing and I love all of the fabrics in this. You know, I'm usually pretty selective about colors and fabrics when I do snag a quilt and these are pretty great. Honestly, I just love them. So love finding this quilt so also ended up with this little guy which is so cute mechanical peekaboo kitten and you wind it up and kitty pops up and down out of the basket so it does work um david needs to like oil it so it's smooth but yeah it works and it's really cute this is also a david find little bartender with a shaker and the dice kitschy and cute. Okay, so I found my black light and I had to because look at this cool little piece. I love this and it is so glowy and look at that little weird kind of diamond grid stem handle. Not sure. I think it's a little creamer looks like. Definitely cool. So very smitten with that. Ellie Smith, Moon and Stars, and the Ruby Amberina. Looking real good with a glow on that. A little Indiana Glass Fairy Lamp. And these guys who are super funny. We have Flirty Gertie Mugsy. And we have Cockeyed Charlie Mugsy. Jason, is that you? Is that you on Thursday night for the quartet? I think it might be. Or is it David? Or is it Michael Todd? Wah. All right, so some Dolly House little things. You saw my mohair bunnies. Uh, this is probably David's favorite find. Welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> oh, up your nose with the rubber hose. The sweat hogs. David let out a shriek when he found this. A hairy canary horseshack. Um, 1976 Welcome Back Cotter mugs. So yes, just stay tuned folks. And these are some fun aviation mugs that are also that thermo serve. And oh, I found advertising, a collectible guidebook. 
found Nippon Porcelain Guidebook. These are so cool. Occupied Japan Guidebook, which I thought was really spectacular. I was very excited about that. Smoking Collectibles. A price guide, which is great for David because he sells lots of this kind of stuff. Very mantiki. Bake light in the kitchen. This is a guidebook for bake light appliances and flatware and so on. So neat. Different utensils. And then finally, elegant glassware of the Depression era. So yeah, cool stuff. Um super fun, successful pick and trip, all kinds of stuff. These guidebooks are mine. I will not be selling them. I have a weird little collection of these going on thus far. So as you can see, we had a pretty ah, great haul. That's most my black light. It wasn't vintage. <laughs> Always a little drama on one of my videos, right? Woo, lordy. Anyway, guys, it was a fun haul. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, next week we have all Christmas in July coming. So there's going to be a ton of Christmas funsies on the way. You know, we've got all of our other fun sales planned as well for Christmas theme this next week. So hang out with us and enjoy, and we will see you super soon. Thanks again for watching my haul.